Hello everybody, all you beautiful, beautiful people. My name is Alex, and uh, today we are, as you might already have guessed, playing some more Skyrim. Yes, we are. Um, <coughs> the guy who got first on my last video will, of course, have his name down below, if of course I remember. Um, other than that, this episode is going to be focused around chemistry. <coughs> now, you might be curious, uh, thinking, what the hell? Because, well, while chemistry is both, is, uh, well, obviously you start thinking about alchemy when you start thinking about chemistry. But, uh, I'm thinking of a little bit different kind of chemistry. The kind of chemistry between two people, the biological kind, if you will. Um, <coughs> so, well, I'm not going to spoil uh, what I'll be doing this episode, but let's see. First off, I think I need to head over to. Uh, if I can find it, I can't. Can't find the damn place. That solitude. I do not want to go there. Uh, Markarth, Falkrath. I'm looking for Riven. Riften. Okay, Riften. That's over there. Well, <coughs> let's over head over to the nearest stables and uh, fast travel to Riften, real quick. Um. Uh, what else? What else? I hope you guys are doing okay. Um, I've had a good weekend. I'm sorry I haven't been able to put out any videos because, well, I've been busy with work and. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Hmm? Where do you want to go? Let's see, I want to head over to Riften. Climb and back, and we'll be off. So yeah, I've just been busy this if weekend. You've never been to Riften. Be sure to visit the Blackbriar Meadery. Mm. Mark the dad and you'll forget all about the long trip. So yeah, um, I've just been busy this weekend. <coughs> um, haven't really had much time around the computer at all, to be quite honest. So let's see, we're now in Riften, I assume? Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. Okay. For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? Well, I do want to get into the damn place. Let's see. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Let me open the gate, and you can head into the city. So, yeah. It's unlocked. You can head inside when you're ready. So yeah, Riften is apparently the place where the Thieves Guild is holding up. Um, so you know, clearly I'm going to meet a lot of shady characters. <coughs> Unfortunately for me. I had another run-in with the Thieves Guild. Be careful, you. The Thieves Guild has Maven Blackbriar at her back. One snap of her fingers. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble. Yeah? Well, I got news for you. Last thing the Black Briars need is some stranger sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. The Black Briars have Riften in their pocket and the Thieves Guild watching their back. So keep your nose out of their business. Okay. Me, I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Suit yourself. I'll be at the docks if you change your mind. Okay, good to know for future reference. No offense, but when you borrow you said you pay back on time. So I'm actually looking for a temple of some sort. I don't think it's too far fetched to assume that temple is probably the biggest building around. This kind of looks like some kind of Mistwell keep. No, that's probably not it. There's been another dragon attack. Kinds grow this time. 
Cones Grove. Have I been there? Oh yeah, yeah, I was there. I believe, I think. I don't know. <laughs> but How can a humble servant of uh, today? yes, there seems to be some kind of temple, the Temple of Mara. <coughs> <coughs> now, in order to uh, get married to another person in this game, you need a amulet More. of Mara. Which you are supposed to be able to buy from a person in this temple. I can't remember his name right now. But uh, let's have a chat with this guy. Yes? This temple is dedicated to Mara and the light. I'm only a humble acolyte. Hmm. If you wish to avail yourself of Mara's blessing, good day. Okay, so I need to speak to. Lady Mara bids you. What Her? is it you seek, my chap? We are devoted to the <coughs> goddess Mara, who gave mortals the gift of love. Her blessings are many. Okay. To love, not all can hear the broad echoes of deepest dawn. To receive mm. the touch of Mara, you must first explore the facets of the infinite jewel. Are you prepared, then, to help bring the light across this land? The dawn hmm. surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that Mara has reflected an image to me. The village of Iverstead. The woman, Fastred. This is... I will fine, fine. on your behalf. Uh, I need to buy an amulet. What the hell is this? Talk to Fastred. Uh, all disease is cured. That should also fix up an issue I had last episode. Um... I asked people <coughs> why I kept getting told that I look sickly or uh, people in the streets keep commenting if I feel ill or something and apparently I, I at some point contracted a disease branch a done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you carry hey man. I'm saying you've got the coin but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly are you sure? I can tell. It's all about sizing up your mark. The way they walk. What they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. Hmm. Look how you sniffed out my little scheme at the North Gate. You knew it was a shakedown and you called him on it. That's what I'm talking about. Wealth is my business. Okay. Help me out and I can add to yours. Would you like a taste? I've got a bit um, of an errand to <coughs> my line of work. Whatever. I'm, I'm not here for that line. today. You want to make some coin? Come find me. Yeah, later. My husband Bercy will be the death of me. Let's see. He spends too much time worrying about Riften and not enough about himself. I need to find someone that deals in alchemy. I've never seen me all this upset about it. Shut up. Greetings, honored friend. Could I interest you in some fine jewelry? No. This is the there in this part of Skyrim. I'm not here for jewelry or some Glory, such. Gems, potions, exotic ingredients. I have them all. I have anything you wish <coughs> to sell. I've everything I've got on display. Okay, really. let's see. I need to get ingredients, and this is not where I'm supposed to be getting ingredients. See, your eyes to the road. Um, someone suggested to me that I Blackbriar Meadery. Whatever. See, well, the thing is... is oh, shut up. Oh. Your soul and it's all lies. Just yeah, Very so... Good. Apparently you can fast travel between uh, Riften and... Uh, I believe it was Markath. Mm, probably Markath. Yeah. And that will take exactly 25 and a half hours. So, you will arrive at the next town uh, one day after only a couple hours later in the day and the shops take 24 hours to restock so you could potentially fast travel between Markath and Riften back and forth and uh, keep buying out all the stock of ingredients from their uh, from their 
alchemy suppliers there. Hornel Orphanage? What the hell? I need to find a damn uh, alchemist. Guards, can you tell me? What do you need? I have to wonder. Ugh. What does the Dragonborn do once he's summoned by the Greybeards? Can the Thune be The and Barb. To Glad hell. to see you finally came to your senses. Ready to make some coin? No. Not now. God damn it. You know, I should probably have thought this out before I started making this episode. Let's have a look here at the local map. Bunkhouse, Aaron's uh, House, Rift World Manor, uh, Temple of Mara, Ragged Flagon, Blackbriar, The Ratway, Scorched Hammer, Skyrim, Pawn to Prawn, Elgrim's Elixirs. Okay, that looks promising. Let's have, <coughs> have a quick walk over there and uh, disrespect the law and you disrespect me. Pawned prawn, black briar meadery. Is this it? Skyrim? No, just leads back out. Damn it! I'm so confused. Let's see. It's supposed to be at the end of this this street right here. Is this it? There's an apothecary in town, yeah, but it's down on the lower walkway. So stay sharp if you go down there. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So I'm supposed to be going down there. Well, thank you for the tip, even though I never told you what I was looking for. Let's see, can I jump this? Whee! Yep. Didn't hurt either. Elgrim's elixirs. So, now we know that. I think I will spend a little bit of time... Good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking <coughs> for. If not, let me know. Shut up. Oh, sorry. Just thinking about my experiments. So yeah, I'll spend a little bit I'm of time traveling time back and yes. forth between However, the road ahead is paved uh, with cobbles and deadly Riften here and Marcus. Shut up. To restore my am I sensing that you may be interested in gathering these rare ingredients for well, I'm not right now. The hell? Why would I now is it two parts giant This looking? place has seen better days, but it's not my fault. Why can't I, I just I buy stuff from In you? In fact, I need to arrange the job pays well. So Whatever, I old so lady. So you interested in my potions and ingredients? Yes, now I am. Let's see. I have two thousand eight hundred gold. That should be good enough for a while. So I'm going to buy out all the ingredients here and travel over to Marcath, I believe, and find the um, alchemy shop there before I get back to you guys. Don't forget um, supplies potentially to also them. travel a little bit of back and forth in order to uh, get some extra stock so that I might uh, do a little bit of alchemy with you guys. So I'll see you guys over in Marcath once I get there. I'll just use the uh, horse carriage because I still need to uncover Marcath on my map so I can fast travel later on. So yeah, I'll see you guys over in Marcath. So I just arrived at Marcath, and and uh, the hell, uh, the hell, what am I supposed to do here? Um, equip my weapons real quick. Damn it, goddamn bug. Weapon switching bug. Uh. Okay. Well. Seems he went down anyways. Gold, lockpick. Ooh, minus clubs. I think I'm gonna grab those because... Okay, whatever. Someone mentioned that at some point that if you wear minus clothes you might be able to get more. Or when you do mining. Are you alright? Did you see what happened? Um... I'm so sorry. I hope the aid gives... Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks uh, My note? No, that's yours. Must have fallen out of your pocket. Hmm? Fine. No. I was just getting... Hmm? No. I was just getting some fresh air. Bad one. A random note. Let's have a look. Uh, Eldris note. Meet me at the... Come on. Go away. Shrine of Talos. Forsworn conspiracy. What the hell is Forsworn? 
Um, okay, well, that was random. Hmm, I'll just lift that off her. She doesn't need it anymore, right? He was after Margaret? Why? Hmm, strange. Well, I gotta look around and see Solves. if I can find the uh, Are just old memories. alchemy the supplier, down. alchemy salesman. So, back in a bit. So, I find this place called the Hag's Cure, and I figured this was most likely something related to alchemy. So, I'm gonna have a look in here real quick. Yep, definitely an alchemy. The Hag's supplier. Cure is here Whoa. for all your discreet needs. So how's happened I to you? I have potions for disease, love sickness. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. I am. So I'm gonna empty out her stores real quick. And yeah, my friend here is watching the uh, finals in the. Uh... Wow! I went out of gold. I did not think that would happen so soon. I guess I did spend a lot of gold. Now uh... you let me know if you need a cure. So yeah, my friend is watching the Major League Gaming uh, Finals in StarCraft 2. So that's what he's talking about. Now let's see if we can make any good stuff. Weakness to poison. See, the thing is, <coughs> I figured, uh, I read on the wiki that you only get skill ups uh, or skill increases if you make potions that uh, are su 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 successful, not if you experiment like this. Um, so, I'm probably going to focus on uh, creating these. But, uh, from experience, the Daedra hearts usually are related to healing in some kind of way. So, now you see the butterfly wing here has restored health. So, I'm going to take a chance and say that those will have the same effects. I will exper uh, I will probably get that on the Daedra Heart here. So yeah, restore health, Daedra Heart. And Magicka apparently. Nice, I made myself a new pretty good healing potion. So, I'm going to uh, create a couple, a couple of these. Let's see, what can I make? Okay, I can make at least seven of these. So I'm gonna go do that. Let's see, make a couple of these. Um, make some of these. Okay, okay. Goody, goody. Let's create. Combine those. Now I'm not really uh, experimenting here. I'm just creating things I already know. I know the effects of in order to skill up my alchemy better. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. Winter is coming. <laughs> if you get that uh, quote, uh, high five to you, sir. Or madam, or missus, or whatever. So, yeah, winter is coming to Norway, and... Uh, and uh, I'm starting to get a cold, unfortunately. Uh, so, yeah, let's see... Can I sell that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have po got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy reagents. Potions. Uh, actually, I want to sell you some potions because I want to buy more ingredients. Let's see, I'm gonna sell her everything here. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I don't need that either. Uh, seems to have a couple of ingredients. I just need to buy. It find something to combine them with. Actually, now you let me know could you just let do you. this, rather. So I'm gonna experiment a little bit here. Hmm. See? Got something right away. Spend a little bit of time just experimenting, finding random effects on things. Someone mentioned at some point that combining three ingredients is a more effective way of finding finding their effects than just combining the two. Now, I think I'm actually a little bit torn because I keep thinking you use less ingredients, so the potential for 
finding something better later on, or not necessarily better, but finding a finding a good combination later on is potentially higher. But then again, when you combine three ingredients, stuff like this happens. Uh, you get a lot more random effects. Well, you get a lot more. Instead of eight different ingredients for potential combinations, you have uh, twelve. So, you know, <coughs> I guess you get to experiment a little bit more, I guess. Or, well, your chances of finding more ingredients are higher, I guess. A I don't oh, yes. know. You'll need one of my spec. Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy reagents. Yeah, so do I. Let's see, sell you all this. Let's see if I can buy any more. I have 1200 gold. Okay, let's see. Buy something with high. High uh, stock. So. Actually, is there any way for me to buy things directly as a result of the. Like, can I buy everything I need for a certain. Certain concoction. I have herbs to mix. Yes, you do. Well, I'm gonna head back over to Riften, fast travel there because uh, the stocks should be re. their stocks should be replenished once I get there. Like I mentioned, it takes exactly 25 and a half hours to travel from Markath over to. Uh, where was Riften again? Damn it. Okay, way over. Damn it! I keep losing Riften. Huh. Okay, well, zoom out. Okay, Riften is way back here. Okay. Fast travel to Riften. So, it should take exactly 25 and a half hours, meaning I am just the day after, only a couple hours later. So, and like I mentioned, the stocks of shops, they restock every 24 hours. Now luckily I remember where the where the vendor is, so I don't have to look around so much. But I'm probably going to be spending a little bit of time just doing this today. I also have some footage from earlier explore, exploration today. Let's this see. place has seen better day. Yes, I'm sure. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. I am. I am indeed. So yeah, see these stocks are re, re, refurnished, so to speak. I spent some time. Uh, well, I emptied out all her stocks Don't earlier. So let's get back to experimenting. <coughs> let's see. I could potentially just make something I know I'm going to make. Get well. Yeah. Let's just. Make something guaranteed. Um, just so I can get the skill ups and use the remaining uh, ingredients to experiment with afterwards. Uh, man, that didn't make get me much further. So I'm just going to experiment a little bit here further. If you see something you like, or you could potentially just watch the video and see what works and doesn't work. But um, if I remember to, I'll put a link down in the doobly doo with the wiki page I used, uh, which explains what each ingredient does. Now, I'm not using that because I like to experiment myself, even though it's apparently very ineffective because I'm losing out a lot of gold here. I don't really feel uh, my gold stock is that high of a priority, to be quite honest. You get a lot of gold just uh, <coughs> just killing dragons, you know. So let's find that old lady again. My mind is on my experiments today. Hmm. What did you mean? Let's see. What have you got for sale? So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? I guess. Let's see, you're gonna sell off all this crap. Do I have any ingredients I could just sell you? Well, I don't know. Let's buy some more resist. Well, that's a lot of resists. Snowberry seem to provide resists in general. 
That one's also resist, so I could just get that and that. Don't forget this is an educated guess, if you will. Since both these ingredients have resists on them, chances are they will create something like a resist frost, as as mentioned down in the pre-made uh, alchemy, uh, whatchamacallit, the overlook, I guess. <coughs> so, I guess I'm gonna, going to head back to Markath. No, actually, I need to find the guy that sells those. Uh, yeah. Actually, I'm going to sell off some of the... Uh, no, not you. Not you. Not you. And you. You you're gonna stare all day or take a look? I'm gonna sell off some dragon scales because I need gold first off. Amulet of Kinnerath. Oh right. Well I'm wearing it, so I'm not gonna sell that. Could sell that. I don't know that what that one is. Let me just check what that what that is before I sell it. It's a book, I know. Ah, heavy armor. Awesome. I don't remember where I found it. Sorry, Ready guys. To spend more gold. Come could on, just come on. Search just it up. what you see here. So now the awesome thing is that I can still sell the book afterwards. I read it and got the skill skill point for it. Let's see. Empty soul gem. I don't need that. Ingots. I have a lot of a uh, lot of uh, like uh, smithing materials on me. Yep. Let's see. Empty soul gem. Don't need that. Lesser soul. Well, I could always use that. Oh, I leveled up. Awesome. Selling off empty soul gems. Quicksilver ore. Ah, yes. Like I mentioned, I had a little bit of an exploration trip earlier today. And uh, I'll put that at the end of this video. Um, it shows where you can find a bunch of quicksilver ore and some other stuff, I believe. I believe. So let's see. Snow Fox Pelt. Ruined book. Don't need that. Soul gems. They are filled. I'll stick stick those in my pocket for now. Selling off all my dragon scales because I know. <coughs> I know I'll get more by the time I am able to make um, Come back when you're dragon ready armor. Let's see, now I leveled up. Let's see, let's have a look here. Destruction. Health. I have 200 health, that is my goal. I was aiming for 200 health before I started putting points into something else. So, I guess. Um, Magicka, I guess. Yeah, might as well put points into Magicka. Well, at least one point. Let's see, what do I want to put points into? I could potentially put points into this one. But, uh, I don't know. I think I want to focus more on the crafting aspect of this game for now. So let's see. Steel smithing, dwarven smithing. What do I need for orcish? Uh, where's dragon smithing, by the way? Is that over here? No. What the hell? Must be at the very end there. That's elven. That's glass. No, advanced armors. Skill plated armors at forges and improving them twice as much. Okay, requires 50 points. I have 38, so that doesn't do me much good. Let's see if we can put some points into alchemy because that's what this episode is focused about. Apparently, well, it is. Let's see, physician potions you mix that restore health, magicka, and stamina are 25% more powerful. I don't know. I, well, I do need to have a point in that in order to branch off to these anyways. I could use both Poisoner and Benefactor. And later on, Experimenter. Eating an ingre ingredient reveals two first effects. Yeah. I think I want to put a point into this one. Just so... Whenever I create a potion, I can sell it for higher value later on. Like, get 
more back of my gold. Uh, yes. I also need to find that damn... Uh, uh, that damn uh, amulet of Mara so I can potentially marry marry someone because uh, I've kind of grown fond of Lydia here. She's a heartless bitch and uh, <laughs> that means perfect for me as a as a badass Nord motherfucker. Yes. None of these guys uh, sell what I want. It's down here. Hello? Anyone here? Uh, okay, I should probably go check the wiki or something because I can't find the damn person that is supposed to sell me the amulet. I guess maybe I'm supposed to be doing the quest for What's her name? Bids you welcome to her benevolence. Huh. No. <clears throat> I don't know. Let's see. Magic effects. Active effects. Fortify magicka. Poison. No, restoration. The warrior stone. Yeah. Powers. And yeah, I did go back and get the become ethereal. Uh, become ethereal uh, shouts. It's um, found it in Kynesgrove, I believe. The place where I had to get the horn of Jorgen Windcaller. It'll be at the end of this video. Other blessings removed, all diseases cured. What does that do anyways? I'm curious. Okay, just these, I guess. Blessing of Mara. Healing spell restored. Simple, simple. Well, that's nice. That's always nice. Well, <clears throat> what was I thinking? Yeah, I'm gonna go check the wiki and see if I can find the person who sells the amulet for Mara. And uh, I'll be back in a moment. So, yeah. So, we're back. Um, I did a little bit of snooping around on the wiki to see if I could find uh, where this person who sells the um, amulet for Mara is. He's selling for 200 gold. His name is Mara Mel. And I just came out here and just look at this beautiful scenery right here. Anyways, there is a chance he is either in the Temple of Mara, which I was first led to believe he would guaranteed be, but uh, there's also a chance he is uh, found in the B and Barb if you're looking uh, for inn, or um, right. I don't know, uh, whatever it, this is called. <laughs> I guess it's an inn of sorts. <clears throat> so let's see if we can find him. Yeah. Heed my words. The return of the dragons is not mere coincidence. Oh, this is the guy's list. This is one of the signs. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your constant inebriation. Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids and embrace the teachings of the handmaiden of Kine. No, no, Mara. We talked about this, Talon. Kirava, certainly we can come to some sort of an understanding. These people must be made aware of the chaos they've sown. Enough, Marama. We've all heard of what the are you looking at? No Stop staring at me. I don't have any business to harass you, so get out of my face. You're Very just staring well, at me, girl. I'll remove Push myself off. from this den of iniquity. Or I'll send Lydia at you. We're not kicking you out. Just keep the sermons at the temple and let us all sin in peace. Hmm. Blessings of Mara upon you. How may I help you, my son? Uh, do you accept charity? Of course. I'd be more than happy to add a donation to our charity box. Right now, the best you could provide is coin. We um, need all the help we can get. Sure. Thank you. I can promise you that this will be put to good use. Uh, you can tell me about Mara's beliefs, I guess. Mara's domain encompasses the emotions we strive the most to embrace. Love, compassion, and understanding. It's difficult to appreciate her gifts in these dark times. Hmm. But you should consider her light a beacon in the storm. Okay. Wonderful. Where to begin? Mara is the goddess of love. The temple spreads her gifts by tending to the sick, the poor, and the lost. Hmm. We also perform wedding ceremonies for all the loving couples in Skyrim. Ah, oh, yes. Weddings. Yes. If you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? Nope. 
typically love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Life is hard and short, so there's little room for long courtship. Yeah. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck, showing they are available. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple and we arrange a ceremony. <coughs> Simple as that, I guess. I'll buy an amulet tomorrow. Here you are. Now, remember, people in Skyrim respond to deeds. You'll find more people interested in your love if you help them. Okay. Good luck. Mara bless you. Hmm, interesting. May you return to her benevolence and safety. So, I guess that's pretty much all I wanted to accomplish this episode. Let's see if we can find this amulet and uh, put it on. Uh, restoration spell. Ooh, that's actually a very nice amulet. I mean, 10 points of stamina is nice enough, but you know, increased restoration. Or more mana, I guess. It's always nice. So, yeah. Actually, <coughs> welcome to the B and Bar. Yeah, Hello. shut up. If I can interest you, I'm busy talking to my fans. Thing. Push Let off. Me. God damn it. Okay, fine. So. I think that's enough for this episode. Um, I will be this rounding it up part. right here. Um, after this, there will be a little bit of segment where I just go back into the place I got the Horn of Jorgen Windcaller and place where I did some exploration and find some Quicksilver. So, but this is the official end of this episode. Uh, I just had some random clips I wanted to show you guys as well after this here. Anyways, um, if you enjoyed this episode, please remember to rate, comment, like, and subscribe. Um, if you didn't, please do leave me a comment telling me why not. But make it a... Uh, like, don't just say I'm gay, because, well... That has nothing to do with whether or not I make good videos, or whether or not you enjoyed my video. Anyways, um, I hope you guys learned something, and uh, please remember that uh, the game of firsts is still on, so whoever gets first on this video will get a shout out in the next video. That's the way I work. Also, I passed 300, no, 400 subscribers not long ago. I also wanted to give you all a very huge uh, thanks because I really could not have done that without you guys. I mean, I love you guys. You're also very beautiful people. It's just awesome. Anyways, um, yeah, I think that's all for this episode. Good night. I'm going to bed now. See you guys uh, when I see you. Bye. So, we're back here in Ustengrav. This is the place where you pick up the horn of... Well, uh, this is the place where you're supposed to pick up the horn of Jürgen Windcaller. But we uh, are not here to do that quest because we did that in last episode in the last episode. We are on the other hand here to uh, look for a word wall uh, which is apparently supposed to be down here which I missed in my last video according to some of my commenters. So I'm just going to be running around here uh, having a look. Apparently it is supposed to be in a green room so I'm going to just look around and see if I can't find that real quick. Uh, we've already cleared out all the monsters or evil things worth killing so it's not really going to be very entertaining anyways. Um, I'm gonna keep looking around and get back to you once I find it. Alright? Alright. Alright, so it turns out I found this room um, but I did not explore this part of it so, apparently, this word wall, if you remember this room, it's a big uh, semi open area, quote unquote, green room, uh, which someone mentioned. And uh, there's some ore, that's very nice. I'll get that afterwards. Or maybe I can't. I can't get back up. 
But yes, this is definitely a word wall. So let's check out what we get from this one. Oh yeah. Failed become ethereal. Interesting. Now, I do believe I have a couple of dragon souls already stocked up. So let's uh, let's have a look at what the this one does. Um, let's go into magic, shouts, and dragon souls are required to unlock shouts. Well, I already have a couple of dragon souls, don't I? Uh, is there any way to... Oh, yeah, see, I have two Dragon Souls down at the bottom right there. Dragon Souls are required to unlock this shout. Well, I already have shouts for crying out loud. I have two souls. See that? Does it require, like, a specific amount of souls or something? No, just tells me what recharge rate it has. R. Unlock. Spend soul. Ah, okay. You cannot click it, you just need to press the R button, as you see down here. Now I've unlocked it. The thumb reaches into the void, changing your form to one that cannot be harmed or cannot harm or be harmed. Let's test that out real quick. Cool. So I'm ethereal for a uh, relatively short amount of time, I believe. Um, it seems to last around 15 seconds ish. So, yeah, that's nice. Now, not something that someone told me I could do was to equip a pickaxe as a weapon and spam the attack button on the ore. And uh, I would get. Remain is depleted. <laughs> so yeah, that's the one way to do it instead of uh, going through the animation. So that's how you do that. Well, back to uh, back to business as usual. Hey guys, so I'm out here exploring, um, and I am now way up north, um, pretty much as far north as you can get. Uh, along the coast, and I found some quicksilver ore. Now I know a lot of people have been looking for uh, where you can find quicksilver ore, for instance, and you can find that on one of these uh, smaller outcrop islands right off the end of the world, pretty much all the way out there. That's all I wanted to all I wanted to show you guys this time around. See you guys later. And just as I was finished making that short video on the quicksil roar I found on this island, right, right over there, no, this island, right by the boat, I actually found another vein of quicksilver roar. So that's two veins of quicksilver roar right next to each other. So yeah. 